Rais is mnakwambia hivi ndio mademo wanajiuza. Mimi nataka kuprovia. Una get? Angalia hizi sehemu zote. Soma home. Embakasi islay gidurai. Sasa tuseme si tuko hapa karibu na gidurai. Mm. Tunaingia gidurai. Sasa. Mm -hmm. Usisome hiyo jina hapa. Mm. Sawa. <laughs> Unaona hizi ni namba. Mm. Unapiga. Haraka haraka kuna kuwekwa. Mhm. Mm Watatupigia makena hoti. Wone venye na happen. Makena hoti. Kidogo ajite poti. Sikia. Wone venye na raise. Hello. Hello, niaje makena? Bora. Niko hapa viti ya rem. Short ni ngapi? Dada Kikanyari aliweza kukuwawa mm. in very disturbing uh, you know circumstances in South B. Mm -hmm. Of course ni kesi ambayo iko bado na DCI na pia kwa mkia jana au ni leo I think ni jana mm. tumeona pia story ya mwana dada mwingine ambaye ame 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 amepatikana ame kwamba amekatwa katwa na kuuawa pale pande za Roy Sambu. And of course uh, ushawahi kuzungumzia hii issue kitambo uka wawon wanadada pengine what are the insights that you have na ni kitu gani ambacho unahisi kwamba kinaendelea e, sasa hivi mpaka kinapelekea wanadada kuwawa e, kwenye BNBs inakuwa jo shongo nguvu mimi naitwa presenter Ali your entertainment PA the is for amazing uh, mwaka mpya natumai kwamba mmeuvuka vizuri of course uh, i took a break from social media kidogo ndo tumerudi kwa ajili ya kuhakikisha kwamba tunawapa full entertainment na leo kwa mara ya kwanza kwenye interview yetu ya kwanza atakuwa anapiga story na one and only truth watchdog na kila wakati amwambiaga tu atupatie intro ya kwake your ladies and gentlemen, kama ke, kama kawa, truth watch doga hapa hivi. Na kuletea ka ukuli kadao, kipendo na mezo, kikata hatu na kumezesha. Kwa ni iko ni ni natuka na ka evidence. Ukuli How are you doing? Ukuli ujaitemua. Ati? Ukuli ujaitemua. Ukuli ujaitemua. How are you doing? I'm good. Maze, good to see you. Happy New Year. Tujona? Eh, hey, bana umepotea. Eh, hey, bro, tuangu upate katoto. Excuse me, kama wendo na nyonyesha. Tokea. <laughs> Tokea bro. Familia kidogo kidogo majukumu. Eh lakini unatembea unatafuta kazi ama ukule ki eh? eh? Utakula kiugumu? Kweli. Eh tembea tembea tafuta ka, fanya kazi. Okay, kazi. Mama atalea tu. Kweli. Mm. Kwa salama kabisa. Mimi niko poa nashukuru God. Mm -hmm. Amekuwa mtu mm -hmm. mwako umeanza fit. Yeah. yeah. Eh, kwanza tu kabla tuongelee the main agenda ambayo imetuleta eh, last year uli maliza on a very high note yenye uli expose you know the fake for, forex traders. Uh, wengine ambao ni celebrities nataka tu kujua from your end did you get feedback kwa watu kwamba umewasaidia in any way eh hey, hey. bro na kuambia in thousands hata sasa hii whatsapp yangu unajua nimeanza kuweka namba pale reach out sasa wale watu ambao wanaskamiwa mm -hmm. ama wale watu ambao wamekosewa kwa njia moja au nyingine na kuambia it's overwhelming overwhelming in in, in the sense that unajua ile account yangu Ilienda ile ya TikTok ilikuwa sijui 90,000. Ilienda. Nilifungua account in, in one month tuko 39,000. Na ukipata zile 39,000 apart from getting subscribers, unapata kuna zile comments, zile requests, zinaito request. Thousands and thousands. Yanu unasoma mbili hivi unachoka kwa sababu ile light ya, ya, ya simu. So, e, hey, wase wengi wame come through. Yani imefungua wase kabisa. So, kumekuwa na issue moja wa sana ni ambia. Siu tulete real. Hiyo ndio imekuwa sasa challenge. Ndio tumepata mse moja, hopefully ata remain kukuwa real. Unajua sasa zingine pesa pia inafanya mtu anakuwa na ukorofi korofi. Mm -hmm. So I hope atakuwa real. But hiyo uh, ndio imekuwa challenge. But eh hey, wasome come through sana kwa appreciate. Mm -hmm. Like really big time. Yeah. yeah. Na watu ambao liwa expose at some uh, at some moment last year ushoi kuniambia kwamba wengine walikuwa wana ku threaten mm -hmm. ilifikia wapi? Yeah, including sending me fake lawyers. Mm -hmm. uh, kuna say ni mention Kuna msali nitumia hapa lawyers ni kambia we bro Unakumuka kwanza kuna enzi uwe umerekodiwa Ukipiga mtoto wa shule vibaya sana Kamvunja meno wakamtoa damu we Iyo video na juwa niko nayo Sasa we ndelea kunitumia utu tulayatu wako Tuone kama tutakuteteo pia Nikisikia maloya tena kwa mlangu wangu na release But I thank God pia kuna maloya sa mekam through Wawo ni ambia tu bro ukiwa na issue na msi we tutumie uki tu endelea kufanya kazi safi na jota gongana na watu ambao wapendi kitu ambacho na kifanya. Lakini wendelea kusukuma tu. Ata kuna mapolisi manze wengi. Ema hey, mabeshte mbaya. 
So hii kitu ime create a, a good rapport within the community. Mm -hmm. Kama hapa nimekuambia uwezi hapa hivi kwetu hapa. Uwezi mm -hmm. toka ile kona ukaje ufike kwa hii gate. Kama sijaambiwa, eh hey bro kuna kuna strangers huku. Mm -hmm. Na ile kona nyingine pia. Kwa hiyo imeletea reputation fit, ime create a before ilikuwa challenge but sasa hii letea. yani wase wenye hata siko na jua na zaka nao meza moja ni na keti nao tunazungumza wananiuliza advice mpaka nasema eh hey, man mm -hmm. kuna growth yeah, yeah so hizo ma threat nimezizoea kuna wajinga wanakutishiaga wewe nitakuua ndafanya nini mwambie bro acha kusema bana hakuna mtu kufa na style wewe kuja tu ni wewe unasema mm -hmm. yeah so sijawahi kukuogopesha ukasema kwamba pengine naweza ukaacha kitu ambacho unafanya bro hakuna hakuna hata siku moja ndakuja kuogopa kifo Kuna mtu analala. Kulala vizuri, hajatishiwa na mtu, hana stress, amki. Kuna mtu to mdogo sana. Kwanza eh hey, manzee. Wacha ni take time yani ku kuambia tu rafiki yangu Karo. Kuna beshi yangu anaitwa Karo alipoteza mtoto. Eh hey, manzee. Mungu ampatie tu yani nguvu na hekima ya kuweza ku handle hiyo issue. Ali miscarriage. So, unaona mtu ikao hiyo? Huo mtu ni innocent lakini amesonga kisonga. Kuna nyali wali wali waliamka wali jana. Leo ni koshua hawata amuka kesho. Mm -hmm. So mimi sionagi kama kuna kifo ya style. So mimi ukinitishia na kifo yoni ujinga sana. Mm -hmm. Mile kitu nafaa kunitishia na yoni buda, nita make sure, hautapata deals, utasota. Ituka hizo mazezi na zanitishia. Yeah. Lakini ati, ati utaniua. Come, come jana. Come jana. So hizo, I uh, just cross my path. Yeah. Yeah. One of the things ambazo pia, main things ambazo zimefanya ni kutafute of course siku ya leo ni the fact that uh, tumekua tukiona kwenye mitandao I think uh, a week or so ago tuliona dadake kanyari aliweza kukuawa in very disturbing uh, you know circumstances in South B. Of mm -hmm. course ni kesi ambayo iko bado na DCI na pia kwa mkia jana au ni leo I think ni jana mm. tumeona pia story ya mwanadada mwingine ambaye ame 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 amepatikana kwamba amekatwa katwa na kuuawa pale pande za Roy Sambu and of course uh, ushawahi kuzungumzia hii issue kitambo ukawaon wanadada pengine what are the insights that you have na ni kitu gani ambacho unahisi kwamba kinaendelea eh, sasa hivi mpaka kinapelekea wanadada kuuawa eh, kwenye BNBs kanyari anaibia watu waseme ukweli Uyo si pasta, ule ni msemu kora kabisa. Una get? Unajua the good thing bro is uh, like tumesema mi work na community. I don't work alone. Mm -hmm. So vitu zingine kama is na happen. Mm -hmm. Unakumbuka kuna wakati kwanza kabla tu watatu ingia kwa hii maneno ambayo imefanyika sasa hivi. Mm -hmm. That was in November. Mm -hmm. Actually it was, a, it was in September and November. Mm -hmm. Nilikuwa na yap sana pale TikTok. You know I was so much on TikTok. Sikuwa kwa hizi platforms zingine. Mm -hmm. Kwa hiyo na keep on making noise. Wewe madem ni aje. Kuna manager wamefika hapa hivi. Hawa sawa wanawatumia. Kwanza walikuwa nakuja kwa sababu ya ID. Mm -hmm. Nigerians cannot access PayPal or any other western services. Mm -hmm. So ile wanafanya wanakuja kutongoza wasichana hapa. Wasichana hapa na upumbavu wao wana tamaa ya pesa. Mm -hmm. Wanakuja wana register lines. Mm -hmm. Alafu wanapatia hawa Nigeria lines. Hawa Nigerians kitu wanafanya ni kuregister sasa kama wa Kenya kwa sababu wako na ID hapa na line hapa kwenye PayPal na kuendelea kuibia wale wazungu wa Sweden, kuibia wazungu wa Amerika na Europa kwa upamoja. Mm -hmm. So, ama dem wanaona wanapatiwa 10,000, 20,000, anaishia na anapeana shot moja, anapatiwa 50,000, anafikiria hizi pesa ni za nini? Hizi pesa ah my Nigerian happy. Eh nini nini nini? Kujibamba bamba upumbavu kunywa pombe. Kulitokea video moja ambayo ilidiliti haraka sana. There was that Nigerian guy Mimi nilishare. Hata ikafanya channel yangu ikakuwa striked. Mm -hmm. Jamal kwa nasema, you think we are here for you. You think we love you. We don't love you. We are coming. You are a sacrificial lump. This coming month, you are go see. You are go see. So wa say, walikuwa na ignore mse. Mm -hmm. Na alikuwa serious wa nasema wako na rituals ambazo wanafanya. So mi kusikie kitu nikafuatilia nikaulizia ah hapa na pale intelligence wasa can remember this thing is real mm -hmm. na wewe wewe fanya yako sasa yango ni nini yango si nikukuja kwa media ni waon mm -hmm. niambie eh niaje ma bro ma sisters sikizeni na msikize pia mm -hmm. hapa hivi kuna kitu inaendelea ni mbaya bro na kuambia nilikashifiwa nilitukanwa nikaambiwa mimi ni maskini naishi kwa nyumba ya mabati hiyo ni kweli mm -hmm. kwa kuishi kwa nyumba ya mabati ni kweli lakini maskini sidhani maskini hiyo ni ideology Unaona? So, ayo unaishi kwa nyumba mabati, mi ni yeri ni kufe kwa bima, ni yeri ni kufe kwa yoko rofa. Ati ni kufe sijui naishi wapi ya hakuna madem wakanitusi wakanitusi. I thank God it's happening. But then me, I don't feel pity for them. 
Miniko, unajua kama Jonah, Jonah alitumika kwenye Bible. Mm -hmm. Muhammad, prophet. May his soul rest in peace. Alitumika kuja kuona wasi. These things will happen. Be careful. Tread carefully. Jua mtu naongea na yeye ni nani huyu? Usijitoko za tu hivi yeye. Lakini nakwambia nilitukanwa. Bro nilitukanwa. Alafu, you know Kenyans like to make fun of everything. So mimi nawaambia hivi, wewe ulijuaje when DCI bure kabisa eh dogi nini nini nini. So mimi nikasema okay. Ah nimecheza part yangu. Nimewaambia na nimewaacha. Mtu unajua mimi siwezi kumekia decision ali. Hata kama kwa forex trading. Naweza kuja nikwambie ali ni mwizi. Truth watch dog ni mwizi. Nani ni mwizi? Sasa umesema wasa watatu na watu wako karibu 1300 wezi. Mimi kazi yangu ni kupatia strategy. Uko na make decision from the strategies like eh hey, hawa see hii designer na kama nayo kuna wizi hapa. Una get? So ama dem niliwa won. Kabisa kabisa kabisa. Then kitu yenye I think unajua gavapi kwa so much professional hataki kusema yani vile vitu viko. Starlet wa hu tuseme kweli. Watu wanajua nini kinafanyika. Familia yake inajua nini kinafanyika. Ndio maana unaona alizikwa kaa ngombe. Wanajua nini lifanyika. Wacha kudanganya tu ati oh sister yangu alikuja aka nini akafanya mimi ukip nikiambia hivi wase brother ukiingia deal chafu alafu jaribu kugeuka hiyo deal chafu walai lazima utachafuliwa ndio maana sichukua giongo ndio maana sichukua ngi pesa za mkato kwa sababu nikijaribu kucheza against the will of the game mimi nimeenda kanyari ambi watu kweli kanyari ambi watu wangapi ndio waseme sister yake ni Aseme sister yake ni alikuwa anamuita ati inaitwaje ama ma, ma, ma hookup sijui escort before muite sijui socialite kanyari anaibia watu aseme ukweli huyo si pastor ule ni msemu kora kabisa una get lakini sasa anaona do, dosari kwa sister yake sister yake alilearn from the big brother wanajua zile deals wanachezaga kwenda kwake wasema michele unajua kuna say huyu na i think mwizi alipata mwenzake mwizi tu aliwai mwenzake ama demo anapenda yani ile life life inaitwa soft life eh hey, maisha london hapa kenya hey, unaona london hapa si ndio maisha london so akienda pale hivyo apata msana anaonga hivi hi how are you you know i really like your shape <laughs> you just beautiful uh, do you mind me having time with you i really want to be with you you know <laughs> you're so beautiful what are you doing tonight? Can I come and take you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no problem. I'm so grateful. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Matara. Actually, I just came from London, Washington. I, and I really like it. If you just kind of hook up me, you know, just take me to one of your best clubs. Um, you know, we can have just some drinks and, you know, have fun. Kumi ni jamao hapa hapa na hivyo? Njoroge ya mata, hapa. Kiroko ni. Kwanza naishi matopeni. These ladies will never learn. Hata sa, unakumbuka nikiongea kitu ya Tinder? Mm. Bro kidogo ni wawe. Mbwa makeni nini nini? Wewe Tinder unajua venye natulisha? Tinder unajua venye natulisha? Fala nini nini nini? Eh, eh, eh. Tinder. Tinder pale ni wezi. Wacha nikwambie. Hata kuna madem pale ni wezi mbaya. Mm -hmm. Mimi hakuna kitu jafanya hii nini bro. Mm -hmm. Ukitaka kufanya investigations kali lazima uende underwater. U discover things that people don't want you to discover. Tinder ni wezi. Unasikia dem pale anakuambia mimi naishi Kasarani. Kwanza wengi wanaishi Kasarani. Kasarani hapa inaitwa Milimani ama Kilimani? Kilimani. Kilimani. Mm. Kasarani Kilimani Roisambu. Mm. Ah, uh, ni kidogo. Mm. Wenda ni kidogo. Lakini wapataga ama escorts wote wako within Kidurai, Kasarani, Milimani, Roisambu. Wako. Wako bro mimi nakwambia. Mm -hmm. Na mademo wanajiuza kama unaona mkate. Mm. Mademo wanajiuza kama mkate. Saa hii Ah, uh, simu yangu iko wapi? Saa hii nikitaka shot saa hii. Bro, acha nikuonyeshe. Ukitaka shot ni saa hii saa hii. Unaingia tu kwa Google. Google Chrome. Uh -huh. uh, wacha nisisemi hiyo site juu kuna najua kuna watu wa kunyonga hapo ni watch. Watakuwa nashinda huko. Okay? Nikuonyeshe vile ni rahisi sana. Venye wanawake yeah, wanajua advertise hiyo site hapa. Yeah, siwezi taka. Mhm. Uh -huh. Okay? Kuna watu wa kunyonga huko wanaweza kuwa na nyonga site. Angalia venye ni rais. Rais nakwambia hivi ndio mademu anajiuza. Mimi nataka kukuprovia. Aka wifi pia kana misbehave ama ni nini? Ama umejua nakuja. Una get? Angalia si sehemu zote. 
soma home embakasi islay gidurai sasa tuseme si tuko hapa karibu na gidurai mm. tunaingia gidurai sasa mm -hmm. usisome hiyo jina hapa mm. sawa <laughs> unaona hizi ni namba mm. unapiga haraka haraka kuna kuwekwa mhm mm watatupigia makena hoti <laughs> one even happen makena hoti doga jite poti skia no ven raise hello ni aje makena ni kwa hapo viti ya rem short ni ngapi short moja na ya yeah, uh, uh, blow job na uh, nilikuwa nataka blow job peke yake blow job ni how much ifanye blow job eh ifanye blow job au uh, fanye blow job na short ni raw ama ni kama na cd ni raw nilikuwa nataka kujua ama kujua mimi nataka kukamu ni nataka raw ina panda mwonge yani nimaliza kuongea na mzee sana kam Naget. Unashtuka nini? Unataka jump mwingine? Hapana. Sasa unajua unajua mkijiweka hivi eh? This chip. Brother, msa ako na thaukumi ya kukuchocha kila siku na kwa client. Mbona si convince ule mwanamke that anampenda na anapenda services zake? So unajua ukishajiweka pale hivyo kazi yako ni lazy lambistic piece of shit. Ukae tu uletewe thao ufungue mguu. Ukae uletewe thao ufungue mguu. Msa na kusoma na kusoma na kusoma, unamsaidia kupata ID. Na sikuizi kupata ID sio unajua rais sana. Mm. Gavana imefanya vitu vi, vi mm. Sasa ubaya kuna hizo mashortcut pia hizo loopholes ambazo wa Kenya wana exploit. Mm. Kufanya wa foreigners. Kwanza mimi ninge kama gavana ingeniuliza ningesema old Nigerians, brothers we love you. But if you do not come with the right paper, go back, we will call you. Si hata wanasema ma certificate zetu ni fake. Mbona sisi tusiseme zao ni fake? Serious. Ukienda Nigeria sasa hivi unatafuta job as a professional with papers from our university. They are saying that we are an, uh, we are not qualified. So they are burning all the certificates from Kenya. Yet hawa say wamejaa huku. Wamejaa mbaya na wengi wamekuja illegally. Una get? Na wanafanya vitu illegal. Kenya tusipochunga, tusipopigana na hizi vices. Wa, mademo wataendelea kuawa wataendelea kuchinjwa na unajua hasa ah, wanaamini kwa uchawi ile mbaya so eh, nataka ku understand hizi sacrifices zina zina unaweza kuona jua zina happen aje ah sacrifices bro hii ni kitu imeanza zamani si sasa hii mm -hmm. ni kitu imeanza zamani kwanza ilianza ga hivi wanajiri wao wana sacrifice hivi kwa hours so called their papas mm -hmm. okay kama uko na dini ya mtu ambaye anatumia huo uchawi mm huwa -hmm. wanakuambia unajikata kidole unaikula na lazima uidish kwa kichaka wakiona una yani ni kama unakuwa turned into a cannibal so ukikosa kulipa deni kipita miezi kadhaa unakatwa kuja nyingine kuja nyingine kwa sababu inamaanisha mikono yako imeshindwa kufanya kazi ya kurudisha nini madeni na unapata njia za mkato kama hizo za kipepo pepo ni kama pia zinakufungia uwezi kupata so wewe utakuwa unajitoa sacrifice mwenyewe lakini sasa hii ya madem ya madem hawa ama demo wasidanganye wanakuaga wamekula pesa za hawa save vizuri una get wanakuaga wamedish vizuri wewe unafikiria mtu atakudanganya tu siku moja hivi akupe thao akuja kukata shingo mikono atweka bwenye aenda nayo z aso patia sedo a lot of money and these ladies are convinced brother mimi nakwambia uwezi ambio yo dem umsesi muamini achana na umse awezi They know it hata kwa mitandao utachiki pale watakuandikia comments hapo hivyo. You can't convince these ladies otherwise. Hata hawa jaribu kuambia check ni aje. Ah uh, niko na kazi. Badala yake kuuza kabwenye kamu kamu hata usimame hapa kwa mpesa. Fanya job yako ndogo. Wamezoea kukaa kwa nyumba. Alafu kuhama hama. E ama demu hama. Ama demu hama sana. Sasa unajua na kama gorofa kama hii. Eh mtu anaona eh wanaume 10 wamekuja hapa. Eh me hii imechoma. Una get? Anaenda. Na unajua anafanya hivyo mchana na usiku. Hakuna kusimama. Na sasa juu sasa hizi ma sites zilikam, hawana wale wa mama wale walikuwa na 
wanaweka wasichana pamoja alafu hadi sasa huu mama ndiye anakuchagulia zi siku hizi wasichana wako independent kila mtu anaingia tu site a anaregister anangoja custom anaregister anangoja custom so that's why you find that it's very easy for them to be prey kwa sababu already wanajiuza so kama unajiuza siwe ni product si product mimi ndaitumia vile nataka bro wewe ulikatia demo yako ama ulimpata hizi site kwa hivyo ile si product ule ni binadamu ambao umeweka value kwake ukachukua muda wako kumkatia ukachukua muda wako kumdanganya ulidanganya sema kweli danganya kwenye mko na mansion na ni nyumba ya kuku <laughs> ukamchocha pale ukamchocha akaingia box Mungu akawajalia mkakaa pamoja so ni mtu ambao umeinvest not money value lakini demo wote mwenyako pale ule ni product ni kama tu venye unaweza nua ngwasha unaweza nua ngwasha utoboe shimo eh ufanye vinyo utafanya na hiyo shimo. Si tuliona msale nua kuku akai akaichimba kibroila hapa. Eh? Msale nakula broila mbaya. <laughs> eh? So ile ni product bro. Kuna mse mwingine atanua hiyo kuku apike, si ni kweli? Kuna mse atanua hiyo kuku apembwa. Si ni kweli? Kwa sababu ni nini? Ni product. So mimi ule mse mwenye ah uh, starlet wao na msana mwingine god forbid amewawa kwa sababu mnajiuza kama product mimi kama buyer then niko na right ya kutumia product the way i i want si nimekuambia kama kuku utapatia mbwa maybe utachinja chinja upike nyama ukule na watoto wako ama uta, utaigeuza cheki pale kwa na soft parts ufanye ujinga wako inasemekana kwamba wengine wakichinjwa wanapatikana kwamba parts zingine azi. Yeah, kuna parts, kuna parts important katika ceremony za kishetani. Na these are that's why we call them private parts. Na these are secret organs ambazo zinaleta uhai. Bila uke ama uume hamna hamna uhai. Kwa hivyo inaaminika kwamba kuna hizo imani za kishetani kwamba ukichukua uke wangu uende ukafanye sijui mila mila kuna mwanamke ataweza kuzaa kichukua ume wangu uende ukafanya nini kuna mwanaume atakuja anataka ku, ku, kuweza kuwa na ule uwezo wa kuzaa kwa hiyo ndo napata mtu amechinjwa matiti yamekatwa uke umepotea unaona ndio maana unaweza pata kwa kila kwa kila kuchinja kwa binadamu upotei adhabu ile ni exhaust uchafu mwanangu eh naelewa ushaisikia mtu ame amechinjwa eh akatolewa ku wewe kupotea ile ni uchafu exhausta lakini zile reproductive organs unapata unapata most of the time ah msichana matiti yamepotea msichana uke hakuna lakini pale pale kwa sababu haziwezi kutumika huu ni uchafu una, unachukuliwa kama uchafu na nikitumia dini ya Kiislamu unapata inakuwa ni unajua kwa nini waislamu wanaita wakristu makafiri kwa sababu ufai kukaa na uchafu tishu kawaida tunajua kama ni mwanaume kuna manyele kule nyuma so wakati unajipanguza na tishu unajipaka tu uchafu ndio maana waislamu wanasema nini tumia maji kuchukua udhu so ule ni uchafu na ndio maana unapata parts zote zinapotea ni parts important sana reproductive organs organs ambazo zinaleta uhai kwa dunia so ni ni rituals tu ambazo hawa watu wanafanya kama unaona mtu akichukua kichwa chako kuna kuaga na kuna kuaga na message ule jamaa ameua huyu dema hapa Roisambu ile ni message nyie wote mlikula pesa yangu you will be scattered and i'll have your head that is the message that is out there so wale madem wote ambao wamekuwa kidil na wa Nigerians na wa Kenya ambao wanajua weka kazi yako ni kwenda kuuza pale kukula pesa za mtu if i was that lady mwenye niko hai sasa ningekuwa Uganda don't think government i will catch up na kila mse DCI wezi catch up na kila kitu. Remember uh, the ratio of police to Kenyans. One is to 600. Sasa ule DCI wewe unangoja na ndio wale wanapita. Eh? Wanapita na wanapeleka maji kwa mkubwa hao. Maji ya serikali inapelekwa kwa mkubwa. Sasa imagine if one is to 600. How are you expecting at your officer akue hapa akue hapa akue hapa akue hapa? Haiwezekani. Ndio kwa maana unapata kila time kitu zinafanya nini? Ndio kwa kila time unapata Yaani imefanyika ndo polisi wanafika. Inafanyika ndo polisi wanafika. Wewe unafikiria ni kesi ngapi tunastaki bro? Unajua kama wewe ni mtangazaji. Hata ukipata muuaji huyu, unaweza tu kumhoji? Bro mbona unaua? 
lakini uwezi kumshtaki maana yake haja kukosea constitution ait allow sisi watangazaji kama ingekuwa na allow tunaona na jo wundi wa muaji tunaenda tunamshtaki lakini ukienda kumshtaki pale for station naulizwa aje unahusika aje nani wenyu amewawa ah we end of letter complainant unaona na labda sasa ule msichana bado familia yake haijajulikana watu wako hawajajulikana sasa inakuwa ni ngumu polisi wanakuja tu kuchukua mwili unapata sasa ule mwili hauna kichwa kwa hiyo pengine do you think kwamba kwa kesi hizo mbili ambazo tumezisikia pengine kuna zingine nyingi zimefanyika na tujazisikia siku pengine hiki tu ilianza november bro hiki tu ilianza november unajua kuna wauaji ambao unaambiwa do not leave a trace do not leave a footprint wale hivyo ase wachezaji ukikula pesa yao ama uingie deal yao ase wana kamingi kuna chemicals hapa hivi sijui ni chloride ama ni nini kuna chemical unachinjwa chinjwa unaekwa kwa drum kana mwagwa hiyo kitu inakula mpaka mfupa unabaki kama uji unaona uji unabaki uji sasa una una mwagwa kwa maji ina mixiwa inakuwa flushed ile cho uwezi jua ni binadamu ameingia kwa kale kashimo uwezi jua na inapanguzwa vizuri kwanza hizi airbnbs una get airbnbs airbnbs initially by the airbnb na maanisha nini bed and breakfast bed and breakfast bed and breakfast airbnb hey, ni bed and kill anyway mm -hmm. uh, unaona kwa hizi ma airbnb mm -hmm. initially hiyo pia sara hata mimi naijua ni vile tu kidogo unakuwa na adabu hizi mm -hmm. nyumba za airbnb watu wana install to cameras Ndani. yes mm -hmm. so hizi cameras zinaitwa kwa pinhole cameras hizi mm -hmm. pinhole cameras purposely zinakuwagaza Watu wakikuja kufanya tendo la ngono. Okay? Wakifanya tendo la ngono, we una bila ya kujua. Alafu unauza hizo video. Na sana sana uh, ma MPs ama viongozi wetu wa serikali wame fall victims of this. Sana sana sana. Kwa hiyo hizo high end Airbnbs that was the target. Hata kazi nilikuwa ni poa mimi ku install cameras. Una get? That's why zile tools zinaonyeshaga watu kwa nini? Kwa mitandao before uende kwa airbnb na unajua you are cheating or we ni mtu wa partners wengi chukua kaka kitu investigate the room ujue kama kuna pinhole cameras ujue kama kuna audio collectors juu hizo vitu zinasetiwa alafu hizo video zenyewe zinauzwa lakini utapata pale ambapo mauaji yanafanyika kila mara hakuna kamera kwa nini hakuna kamera ni kwa sababu hawa sio kwa hizo gadgets kama kuna kamera wanatampa nayo so it will not record the event Suno na tajana Ruisambu. Sijui ni chief ama ni mkubwa nini? Sijui ni OCS. Alikuwa anaambia wale jamaa. From today on mweke ma camera bila camera at from today on. Hii kazi unajoin kazi chafu. Kamera lazima zikuwe hapa. Mtu akikuja peke yake atoke peke yake. Wakikuja wawili watoke wawi? Wawili. That is a simple rule. Ukikuja na mtu utoke na huyo mtu. Usipotoka na huyo mtu toki hapa. Na security iwe serious. Such that unaona kama kuna mani, uh, ma landlord wengine niliona kwa magorofa. Kale ka mlango hizi pita. Kale ka mlango hizi pita. So kama unasema ati oh naenda kununua sijui vitungu nini nini nini. Naenda katoke na mwenzako ni ndini mkanue vitungu. Nkweli. <laughs> na get? Yes, makes a lot of sense. Toka tu na mwenzako mkanue vitungu. Mtu ameua mwenzake huko anakuambia anachukua kitungu. Uh -huh. Oh wacha nichukue kitu hapa. Huyo ameenda kiendaga. So it's a simple rule. Umekuja na partner, good. Kama mkununua kila kitu uko nje, mtoke mkanunua. Hivyo tu simple rule. Itasaidia pakubwa kwa sababu mtu atashindua. Nitatokaje? Wakati nimefanya hichi kitendo nitatokaje huko kwa Airbnb? Una get? So, wakati mwingine na nahurumia wanawake sana. Sasa zingine ndio maisha na kulazimu kufanya vitu ambavyo sio sahihi. Lakini pia jipende hakuna pesa ya bure. There is no shortcut. Lazima ulipi. Sasa mimi naona tu wanalipia na si I don't really feel pity for them because wakati unawaambia na kutukana sana. Mimi nimetukana na wanawake kwa sababu ya kuwasaidia na kuambia ukweli mtauawa mtachinjwa na bado si eti tasimama. Ati sasa hizi kesi mbili zinakushtua. Bro apatie wiki. Uh, the, 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 there's a social media post that was made by I think Nairobi Gossip. Eh? Nilikuwa nazungumzia uh, the fact that uh, watu wanaisi kwamba 
it's it's not only sex workers and boko targeted but generally wa Kenya wengine wana they feel like you know eh kuwao kwa wanawake kumezidi tu and rights sawa pia as humans need to be upheld what do you have to say about that no sometimes uh, Kenyans we are good at exaggerating especially when uh, feminists speak you know hawa watu wote angalia zile position wanapatikana akiwa umeuawa it's always questionable sex involved tukue tukue real ya yeah? tukileta tuki, tukileta maneno tukue real pia mimi hata hawa uaji mimi siwezi taka kuwadanganyia tusi tusi generate tusi generate tutu information from thin air and then give out to Kenyans eh hey, kila mtu ako endangered utasitua watu watashindwa kwenda kazini economy yetu itaribika kwa sababu ya upumbavu wa kutokuwa na information ambayo ni real una get but ya watu information real ile legit unajua ume ume, ume gather information sasa watu watakosa kwenda job watu wanawawa. Mtu atakosa kuingia eh, kikomba atafute ngo zake mbili pale. He wewe labda unanifuata nini nini? Zi, hawa se mara mingi kuna watu wamekula pesa zao. Kuna watu wamegeuza wamegeuziana deal. Unaona kama sasa ile expose huyu kijana anaitwa True K. Huyu kijana amebia watu mabilioni ya pesa. Lakini sasa wale watu wanakuja kumexpose ni wale alitumia deal gone sour. Una get? So wewe uwezi kuwa tu unacheza na akili za watu, alafu fikiria watakuacha hivyo. Sio kila mse bro. Sio kila mse. Kuna mse utagonga atakwambia nimekuachia Mungu na ako serious. Wewe ile kitu ya kupata shauri yako, amekuachia God na hata haikufuata, hata kushtaki, ana shughuli na wewe. Lakini kuna mtu utamfanyia upumbavu. Ule naye akwambie Mungu, akwambie wewe nakuachia shetani na nitakupeleka. Wewe jamaa atakufuata, atakuhunt, atakumaliza. So hicho ndio kitu kinafanyika tuache kusema tu at you Kenyans especially ladies are being killed left right z z z there is always a provocation bro there is always a provocation hakuna mimi najua hata muwaji mtu akaangi tu hivi anaua z the government is killing people every day tunajua but there is always a provocation wewe unafikiria mapolisi wameandikwa kufanya nini majeshi wameandikwa kufanya nini Uliza any soldier out there atakwambia we are doing the dirty job for you kule kwa boda kuna sumbulika northern kenya kuna sumbulika wale watu yes wale watu ndio ni wauaji lakini wana wawa wanauawa na nani wale mapolisi wamepewa instruction na nani ni serikali inaua there is always a provocation bro so atwezi tu assume kuna wasetu wametegea wame eh hey, ule tunaua tunaua z we we get into a deal eh uh -huh. explain Atukatai kuna sometimes innocent deaths zinye zina happen bako na shindua. Eh, hey, kwani kuna shetani? Mm -hmm. Umtu mbona kuna unyama hivi? Mm -hmm. Lakini pia, tunafaku understand that ukiingia kwa deals bro, ukijingiza kwa vitu, jiulize mara na mara. Hichi nini na jingiza ndani. Malipo yake itakuwa ni nini? Itakusaidia. Lakini ukiwa ni mtu mwenye kukua tu yani like unaishi mashako. Ni ngumu sana. Ni ngumu sana upate eh ume cross path na hasi. Hawa watu wamekuweko, siti wamekamu. Hata kuna wa Kenya ambao simuliona ule Onyancha. Onyancha alikuwa anafanya nini? Anakata watu. Anakata watu na damu. Huyo mm. ni Nigeria? Am Kenya tu. Kenya hapa. Akuko siku hizi amekuwa pasta. Kwa jela. Excuse <laughs> ukikosea kitu unakuwa tu pasta. Eh hata mimi <laughs> ni nitakuwa pasta. Una get? So, unafaa kujiuliza haya maswali. Awa watu lazima na unapatanga target yao ilikuwa watu ina fulani target yake ilikuwa watu ina fulani sana sana ni wanawake wamejiweka pale nje wanawake ndo wanawawa sana kwa sababu wamejidimin wamejireduce in terms of value sasa hii madem nakwambia hata kwenye tiktok bro madem wanaongeza hiyo ndio biashara unaona niko na flat tummy bwa angalia taka yangu tin 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 unaongeza nini kama bonako walikupenda kama unakaa nyungu Iyo nyungu ndiyo alipenda. Sino kweli? Kama bwana wako alikupenda ukiwa toothpick, hiyo 1GB ndiyo anaita petit. Hivyo unaenda kuongeza sehemu nyeti, unaenda kuongeza nini? Kwa nini? Kwa attract wana huu. Na ukiwa attract, not all men that you are attracting, they are attracted to your body. They are attracted to something more valuable. Wewe sasa unasema unaleta petit kwa meza. Eh, in this economy Bro, watu wanatafuta pesa. Una get? So yeye yeah, anaona eh hey, by the way, jua nauza ni easy target. Una get? 
sijapata TikTok ama kwenye mitandao wanawake wanaka serious like eh hey, tuzungumzia maneno nini tuzungumzie hivi na hivi na hivi kila kitu napata ni nini ni kuhusu mwili wake kuhusu mwili wake wasana dogo sahi kama kuna huyo socialite sijui anaitwa nani sijui ni luta luta sawa kadem eh wababa wababa nyako 35 years and above ndio wazuri mimi kwanza nakwambia ukiingia wacha nikwambie club moja hapa najua kuiva kuiva yuzi wasichana ah uh, ingine sabina joy sabina joy anajulikana sana kwa wasichana sabina joy haiuzi wasichana lakini nakwambia enda kwa hizi club weka tu ita waita mwambie nipatie leso da ndogo pesa ngapi 150 ah niletee maji ya mfereji pesa ngapi 50 bob ka chini lamba lamba ile glass uangalie ni mademu wangapi wanakamu. na si tu wasichana wadogo pia kina mama 40 years nakwambia kwanza ndio wa rembo hivi mm -hmm. vijana vyetu lazima vimanye makeup aeke eyelashes aende sijua chorwe huku mwingine atolewe pimples anaenda kujiwekea self made dimples huku ndio akai fit our mother wani wa rembo Tukwambia 45 50 years. Hey, tu haga tumekubali. Tule ni accumulated haga. Si ya si ya kuboost. Unajua accumulated haga ni ile overtime. Haga ime shape yani eh. Fiti. Wanapanga line. Sabina Joy enda. Nakwambia Sabina Joy says, nilikuwa huko. We only provide rooms for guests. You want to sleep, you pay. You want to sleep with your woman, your business. You want to sleep with a harlot? Your business as well. Unaweza toka hapo na wife wako Ali, ukaenda Sabina Joy, ukachukua room, ukalala naye, na ukatoka na yeye. Una get? Kuiva, unaweza enda pale, ujienjoy tu. Hamna beef na kitu yote, wewe ukajienjoy pale, ukaenda. Lakini hawa wanawake ndio wanajileta. Wanajileta kwa entertainment areas, wanajileta kwa restaurant. So wanaume pia kuna wale wengi sisi tunajijua bana jamani watu kiwa na mtu sasa zingine wanakuwa na tamaa inaeleweka eh ni mwanaume unajua amani za seed yani mbegu ile tu so unajipata kidogo umeingia kwenye majaribu unanipata so unapata wewe ukituletea hapa temptations what are you expecting si kuna wale mawaita wale mbona mawaita wawi na mawaita si pia wao wanavaa tu kama wao mapoko ndio wako tu same rang sababu amweze kuja hapa kungara kwa kazi yetu alafu sisi hatuwezi kuuza pombe so lazima tu twende na hiyo pace unanielewa mbona wa waiters most of them they survive to tell the story so unaisi what, what is the one thing ambayo inaweza kufanywa uh, right now uh, kuzuia vifo hivi ambavyo vinafanyika one of the things ambazo i think chalango if i'm not wrong kama nitakuwa nimekosea mtaniambia alikuwa amesema kwamba BNB ziko regulated ama pengine zikuwe abolished alikuwa anataka eh, siju kama ni jalango but there was something of that sort ilikuwa inaletwa kwenye parliament wewe unahisi hiyo itasaidia ama wewe unahisi ni kitu gani ambacho kitasaidia watarudi hostels regulate what wewe unafikiri unaweza cheza na akili ya binadamu wacha nikuambie ali wacha nikuulize kwa mama yako alikuwa anakula na kunywa ulikuwa unafikiri ufanya kazi ulikuwa relax ndio wakati unaambia eh hey, buda umeanza kunywa makuapa kwa bafu yangu kuenda kabisa akili kafunguka eh bro food hakuna lazima nitafute food so akili kafunguka immediately uko huku uko huku kujaribu kuangaika kupata kipato so ukifanya ukiambia watu atio ya bnb zifungiwe ile ni biashara ya watu bro ule jamaa hajaua mtu ya ame provide service wewe kama una regulate sawa sema hizi regulation ni nini geti kuwa ina gani rules ni gani sawa wafanye biashara zao kwa sababu kuna mtu anapata pale mkatoka kila siku una get lakini ukisema abolish yule ni mp anaweza ongea kitu chochote tu just to favor uh, his name unaelewa so kitu ni kitu ambacho kinaweza fanyika wanawake wateni kusikiza ma feminists wengine wako na familia nzuri kwanza ndio wanawake wa karimu kwa ume wao wale watu live yani mpaka hii nzi imetumwa na nani ambe metuma na ama feminist. Unaelewa? Yaani ni, ni wanawake ambao wanatiwa umewa zao sana. Lakini anakuja hapa na kupigia porojo, miss independent bla bla bla. Kesho na baki peke yako. Wacheni kusikiza feminist. Acheni tama. Jua kwamba uke wako sio product. Kwa sababu kama hii ni product, mwili wako wote ni product. This is a sacred place. Mwenye anaingia pale hivyo ni mseme nyume value. Na isikue value ya pesa ikuwe ni value ile yenye yani hata umsa kikwacha unasikia eh yenyewe hapa kuna gap imetoka unaelewa eh so wanawake wajiheshimu kitu cha kwanza kitu cha pili wacheni kusikiza feminist 
Hakuna kitu kama hiyo. Sikiza mtu ambaye ako na familia, mtu ambaye anajua worth yako. Feminist anajua worth yako. Feminist anataka most of the time wanataka kushine kwa kuzungumza kwenye mitandao. Lakini maisha yao ya kibinafsi sana sana haijulikani. Haijulikani unapata mtu akona watoto 10 naenda anakwambia men are a disturbance in your life. Uko na watu 10 walikuwa na kudisturb wapi? Na unapata wengine hata watano baba ni tofauti unapata? Eh. Baba tofauti Watu watano baba tofauti na wewe unaambia wanawake kuhusu sijui independence au tu nini na uko huko vuna ina mishaga haka mbaya unapigwa vitu na unaenda ndio wendo kapiga domo kwa mitandao. Kwa hiyo kitu cha muhimu ni wanawake wajeshimu. Wapunguze tamaa. Kuna njia nyingi sana za kutafuta pesa. Bro sign kikupatia 20,000. Kama umezoea kutumia 20,000 kulewa haikai pesa. Lakini kikupatia 20,000 ukai chini. Wendo nunue for example. Example Wendo ununue ile troli ya mayai inazogwa shilingi 1900. Ununue tray yako ya kwanza na thau. Ununue smoke zako hapo za 500. Bro kwa siku ukirudi nyumbani after hiyo expenditure hiyo kitu kama tuseme 14000. Utarudi na profit ya uh, 1100 per day. Who is making 1000 per day in the office? Si watu wengi. When I get very few people. So your thaw yako na kama hivyo ka profit ka thaw ka profit ka thaw ka profit ka thaw at the end of the month you have 30000. Hiyo pesa ni tax free. Sio kama ile serikali utakatwa pay as you earn earn as you pay si juu ni nini. When I get. So hiyo akili kuna wasichana huko wanatembeza zile matunda zile unapata amekatakata. Yeah. So anachukua anaenda anachukua watermelon moja. Anaikatakata ndogo ndogo ya ameuziwa maybe tuseme 200. Anenda na yuza, iyo moja, anenda na yuza, kitu kama mianane, miatisa. Akitua ile miambili yake ama miatatu, hako na profit ya miasita. Kazi ya mjengo mefanyike, jafanyike. Na ni kutembea tuna, lazima watu watakula, watu watakula. Una get? So, toa aibu kwa kazi, toa usta kwa kazi, toa makeup kwa akili zako. Can you afford that makeup bila kufungua mgu? Good. Wacha kufuata watu kama wakina Vera Sidika. Wacha kufuata wakina... Uu mgini anaitwa nani? Nimesa uu mrembo. Huda. Wacha kufuata wa si. Awa watu, kitu enye Vera Sidika hizi kuambia. Ni vila ametumika vibaya. Vera Sidika mechimbo saidi zote. Ule demu ana heal. Wahu, wa, ati wahu, pole, nameless, sorry. Huda. Zile vitu zanya amepitia ma... Eh? Na kuambia ama dem zile vitu zenye wakafunguka hivi kuambia wanawake wenzenu. Don't see me here shining and think I am a star. Actually I am the darkest hole you don't want to see. Wanna get? So msione tu ati oh verasi dikali ongeza. <laughs> hata mimi naenda kuongeza. Eh hey, udama unaona kwanga petiti mzuri lakini unaona kama mhang. Eh hata mimi lazima. We. What these ladies have gone through? You can't contemplate hata huwezi kanyaga pale wamekanyaga. So we use your name for at two social light squeezy. Angalia uh, our our wanna bees. Wakina Shakila. Wakina Nani. Wakina Manzo Kibera. Wamefika happy. Spoko kufanya vipindi na waze. Bro, this thing, this shit is bad. It's not as you see it. So na pata dem pale anajua. Onajuliza. Ah, mwana uda zai. Mwana uda zai bwana. Uda zai kwa nini. E ude mana zeka mbona zai. Zile vitu za nyama demu wa mego through. Mi hata ni kakutana na huda hivi sizi yona pesa hake. Na na, yani naona tu shell. Unaona ile shell. Mademu wa metumika wa mebaki shell. Lakini unajaribu kujipaka makeup. Yani kama ile broiler. Unajua broiler sitamu. So lazima uweke. Lazima uweke vitumbua vile. Eh, marination. Yani upake pake turangi kidogo. Ngozi ya nekane kripsi. Lakini. In real sense. Ile ni shell ni bonds tu bros mebakia. So mina muwane vina muwane uruma. So matu eh. Uda kao na survive. E manzai salute you. Oh. Weo mesema wanawake wa, wafanya vitu vita tu kwanza wache tamaa, pili wasisikize feminists wajishim. na wajishim. And this is not a product. Yes. It's not a product, it will never be. There is a reason. This is a reproductive organ. Not enjoyment pub. So.
mwili wako huwezi kuwa a way of enjoying hapo inakuaga kama unaenjoy unaenjoy na partner yako unajua ile kulipo hata uenjoy uko eh we shot imefika shot imefika kama mwaga toka pale hakuna kujienjoy pale so hii sio entertainment wacha kuichukulia entertainment and the moment itakuja hit msichana hii sio entertainment that is the day atamoka because atakuwa na ile value unaona ama socialite wote hawa ama demo rembo kwa anauza mili ukienda kuwasikiza stories zao bro to realize there is a problem within our community a very big problem kuna wanyajui ule aliacha na bwana akaona trosita ameshindwa kulisha anasema kama mbaya mba mimi nitauza mwili ningepata ukimwi sawa lakini sitaacha watoto wakufe lakini kama mtu kako university kaenda kufungua tumugu the same place na sasa hiyo mzazi analipa ama hata ulichangiwa na chief nungu nungu unaelewa so watu wajeshimu watu wajaribu exploit other nini unasemaga nitajaribu kila kitu if everything fails i will again go back to the drawing board and try again and again and again lazima ijipe na sio tafadhali lazima tu tajipe thank you so much uh, truth watchdog nimekuwa nikipiga story na yeah, of course kama ulikuwa haufahamu vitu ambavyo vimekuwa vikiendelea of course umevipata pekee kutoka kwa the one and only truth watchdog nakushukuru sana kwa muda wako and the insights that you actually give us sababu hii story ilipotokea watu waliniambia mtafute truth watchdog tuweze kujua ukweli wa mambo thank you so much watu wangu nguvu go subscribe to his youtube channel of course the link iko pale kwenye comment section uh, umefika ngapi sasa hivi sasa hivi tumestruggle tumefika 17k 17 Yes. Eh, road 20000. Tafadhali tunaomba usaidizi. Mm -hmm. Pale tukifika 100k. Mm -hmm. Ah. Bro mana ukija hapa mbona nisichinje kuku bwana. Bana eh. Eh tafadhali ma, ma fans wake ali njoni huko mpate truth. Mm -hmm. Yaani ukweli na kam bila kupakwa rangi. Mm -hmm. eh, kuna bitterness but inakuwa tu lazima tutuzoe. Kweli. Kwa sababu ukweli ndio utatu set free. Yeah. yeah. Zungumza na mashabiki zako. So asanteni sana for those who have believed in me wale ambao umenileta mpaka kunifikisha hadi wakati huu. Manze na nashukuru sana pia wewe Ali umekuwa kini host wakati niko in laws wakati nimepoteza channel umekuwa wako pale so lazima ni kuappreciate sana ndio maana interview zote ukiniita lazima ni kama lakini wasi wengine ambao wakati nilikuwa chini nikiwaita eh hey, kaji kujeni mni host bana wanakataa saini walipisha bro saini 10k wanataka interview na truth watch dog ni 10k kwa sababu siwezi kuwa in my laws hautaki kutokea alafu sasa zile unaona eh hey, truth watch dog ni ana trend mnakuja hapa na makamera Z Z Z so say interview ni 10000 please kama unataka unataka kutrend na mimi juu bro tumekuwa tukitrend hata january si unaona vile nimesumbua two month trending is not easy you really need to know what people want for those videos to flow una get so say ni 10 Gs interview interview ni 10 Gs kuna wase yenye nime ukiangalia nimehostiwa na wase wawili tu actually watatu mwaka na ka 30k mahali akashatumika bro kasha tumeka wajana <laughs> na machuku but there kuna kitu nyenye wasoji wangi bro mm -hmm. and uh, i don't like to bring this thing on media mimi nalisha watu say it ko 13 it's not a children's home i don't like to call it that way because ni watoto naishi nao hapo mm -hmm. hivi kuna vituko vinafanyika kwa community unapata dem kuna kadem ka 16 years kali kalipata ujauzito mama aka kafukuza kwa sababu ni single mother so kajaribu kwenda kwa chief nini 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 madhaka kajifanya ata ata ataketa akahama kama tukapata mtu yeye analala kwa nyumba so nikamchukua so niko na niko na sana wili watatu actually wili wako na toy mmoja ana alafu niko na tu vijana tu tule tu tunasumbua huko tuchokola chokora na ndio wengine pia mnaona najaribu kuwafundisha mambo na kamera mambo na shooting uka nao alafu pia na ndugu zangu so in total niko na watu total to go around 17 people mm -hmm. lakini the four mm hawa -hmm. yuko hapa mm -hmm. lakini 13 wako hapa mm -hmm. ya kwa hizi nyumba za mabati hizi zenye natukano nazo mm -hmm. so najaribu kufanya ile kitu ya yani do something hata kama ni kidogo mm -hmm. so ukipata hata nikiitisha hii 10000 mm -hmm. ni pesa ambayo miss to me bro mimi niona na vya tungapi isipokuwa ile 2000 alinipea leo <laughs> java onyeshe usiogope mimi ni ngumu nibaikia tu bro hata tro zangu hii unaona ina mashimo hii ni kwa sababu hata ukipatele do ni vizu, ni rahisi sana kuishi maisha fiti unaona unaona nikatoa hawa tu wote ni wafukuze sitaki tu hapa ni baki na hawa maboys wangu wawili bro nakwambia naweza ishi nyumba 25000 ama 
lakini haiwezi niruhusu sasa hii kwa sababu wale watu wanahitaji sasa hii shule walienda na kuambia nimekauka nashukuru Mungu tu lunch ndio <laughs> wameniokolea lunch yeah. una get yeah. lakini ni vigumu sana ni vigumu as and uh, unapata ni ma strangers mjazo mm -hmm. kitabia mm -hmm. so in short na beg wa sepi huko nje mm -hmm. tafadhali invest in helping others as well mimi mm najua hiyo itanifanya ni grow pole pole kwa sababu kuna watu wengi wanantegemea but najua kama unataka ku, ku, kuenda a very longer distance walk with people don't walk alone mm -hmm. so youtubers mimi si waumbi do mimi mm -hmm. naomba tu subscription mkifikisha mm -hmm. pale kitu 100k Bro ni kimek 50 Gs ama 20 Gs per month, uh, tuseme 40 Gs per month. Ile ni pesa nalisha tu, vizuri sana. Juna nataka kuongeza, isi taki kue home, nataka kue family. Kwa sababu children's home vitu zinafanyika ni funny sana. Watu wakuli same food, watu walali same, as, as in same quality ya mattress. Sisi hapa, sayi tunajifunika tu. Kale ka blanket kako, akondi utunajifunika. Kama kuna kaduve, akondi unajifunika. Kwa hiyo, hii uzito ya kuleta strangers in my house and making them family inafaa to do hivyo sana sasa hii economy ni mbaya bro hapa hivi tena kuna kesi hapa wendani kuna kesi kuna mama amekuja kacha watoto 13 au sisi wachukua kwa sababu sina space niko tu na two rooms unaona sisi wachukua sasa unfortunately utapata vitu kama hizo watoto wanachinjwa bro watoto wanauzwa I think it's a story about tutaizungumzia yeah. in, in one of the coming episodes. Thank you so much. Naona muda umetupa kisogo ila nakushukuru sana so. for always coming through and being true to your followers na kuwajuza mambo ambayo yanaendelea. Kwa hivyo make sure guys you subscribe on his channel, follow him kwenye mitandao yake tofauti ya kijamii Truth Watchdog. Mimi naitwa presenter Ali your entertainment PA. We are officially back tumerudi kwa ajili ya kufanya kazi behind the camera. Mwanangu nguvu Frank the director. I'll see you guys in the next video.